happy day learners in this video we are going to learn trigonometry's cosine rule yes you can see it here which has been circled i have given a video for cosine rule already but due to some issues i think i have missed the video so again i'm giving this video to you all uh, before entering into this topic i will just explain that how we are coming to that cosine rule so actually it's a uh, uh, trigonometry unit and the trigonometry unit we are dividing into two branches that is right angle triangles and the non right triangles right angle triangles pythagoras theorem and the trigonometric ratios we have seen it already and in non right triangle sine rule area of triangles that we have seen it already how we have to solve the problems so that concepts i have explained it already so in today's video we are going to see cosine rule so what is cosine rule is cosine rule we can uh, write it in two forms so one is like a square is equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a so since only that a square is in the left side so you can understand that this is for finding the side so if you want to find out the side you will be using this formula then suppose if you have to find out the angle then you will be using this formula which is nothing but cos a is equals b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2bc is what the formula we will be using it so yeah you might get confused that where you have to use the formula where is the diagram how you have to understand yes so i'm going to explain it everything just give me a minute i will explain so yeah you can see the formula on the left side so i'm going to explain it in the diagram we know if it's a non right angle triangle cosine rule comes under non right angle triangle so that right angle should not have any right angle in it or we will be using only for the non right triangles so we will be naming the triangle as abc usually and the uh, this is angle a this is angle b and you should mention it in the capital letter always the side which is opposite to the capital a is small a then this is small c then this is small b where you have to use this cosine rule is actually the cosine rule involves all the three sides of a triangle you can see it here a b c maybe for finding also it will include all the three or else you can see here for finding the angle b c a it includes everything so if it's a cosine rule it includes all the three sides inclusive of unknown value and it includes the angle suppose if you are going to find out the angle a then this side should be known and automatically the side b and c should be known for all the cases you can see it here the one what i have circled it in orange color so these are the two things can be unknown whereas in the area of triangle or else in sign rule in trigonometric ratios or pythagoras theorem you know uh, it i mean if anything can be unknown and any one will be i mean one will be the unknown value the remaining all will be known so by using the formula we'll be finding it but the cosine rule is uh, quite difficult quite different from others uh, it's something like that b c sides the two adjacent sides should be known in all the cases and we can find the angle or side both are opposite to each other so in this cases actually the angle b and the angle c is not required to find it though it is there maybe you can skip it if you want to find out the side small a then you should have the capital i, I mean capital a value you should know i mean the angle a you should know and the side b and c must be known in both the cases even if you are finding the angle a in that case side a should be known so for finding the angle a side a should be known for finding the side angle a should be known for these two scenarios also the b and c the two adjacent side b should be the known value so if you are taking any triangle then if you have to find out this angle this should be the known value i mean if you know this angle you can find what is this side as if you know what is this side is you can find what is this angle as but in both the cases these two sides value should be known then only it is possible because you can see it in both the calculations bc is the in the calculative side right so how are we going to utilize it we will see one problem directly and then uh you can get to know how this works so first this formula you should know if you are an im student you no need to memorize this formula 
the formula will be given in the front page of the question paper itself if you are an extended students yes obviously you have to memorize the formula no other go so there are two types of formula is there that same formula only we have already arranged it uh, it is for side a and this is for angle a if you want to find out side a angle a should be known along with b and c if you want to find out angle a then side a should be known along with b and c so b and c is the basic requirement without that cosine rule is not possible let's start solving a past prop past paper problem this is the question that we are going to apply the cosine rule uh, maybe here actually what we have to find we have to find out the angle value p value is what we are going to find and we are ensuring that whether that opposite side is known or not yes it is opposite along with that the basic requirements the two sides are known or what yes it is known so we are going to apply the cosine rule directly and we are going to find out the answer for p so since we are going to find out the p value so we will be writing cos p equals uh, yeah so maybe or else you can even write the basic formula itself if you are an extended student cos a equals it is b square plus c square minus a square whole divided by 2 bc is what we will be using it so accordingly here if you substitute the perfect values cos p actually the angle what we have to find us then the two adjacent signs are 2.8 and 3.6 minus 3.6 square actually minus 5.3 whole square whole divided by 2 into 2.8 into 4 sorry 3.6 b and c values so this value will give me one answer and actually i have to find out only p so for that i should put cos cos i should transfer to that side so cos will come this it will be cos inverse cos inverse of what is the calculation answer that i have got here i should use it here so cos inverse of answer if i put whatever the answer that i'm getting that is what the value of p it's actually very simple you can easily understand that since it's a paper two question it seems like easy one suppose if it's going to be in the paper four it's going to be like a structured one maybe you have to utilize the value of the subdivision a subdivision b that's how it's going to be but uh, moreover it's going to be very simple you should know all the three sides to find out an angle and you should know the two sides and then opposite angle to find out the side since here they are asking the angle value we are ensuring that all the three sides are known and we are substituting it in the formula this is just numerical values if you put in the calculator it will be getting as a number let me check what is the answer that I'm getting in the calculator actually here for the calculation I am getting minus 0.36 so this total value gives me minus 0.3616 like that it has given and then when I am applying cos inverse of answer I am getting the answer as 111.1989 so this is the answer I am getting and we know if it is an angle we have to give the answer to the one decimal place don't forget don't think always you have to give your answer to the three significant figure if it's an angle we should give our answer to the one decimal place so triple one point nine will make this one as two so that triple one point two is the answer it's very simple right yes let's check another problem and let's see how it is so this is the next problem that we are going to solve it here so you can see it here we are going to use the cosine rule because here two sides are known and then one angle is what given and they are asking its opposite side so the side which is opposite to the given angle whereas the two basic sides are given then so obviously we have to use the cosine rule here and we know the formula for uh, cosine rule to find out the side is uh, a square is equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a is what we'll be using it right so this is the actual formula we'll be using it and now what we are going to do uh, we are going to apply the given values in the formula so that we will get to know are you sure that we are going to use this formula yes because a square this side is that i mean this formula is this cosine rule for the side whereas the two 
adjacent sides are given which is the basic requirement and then the angle which is opposite to the required side is also given so we have all the informations of b c a so we are just going to substitute it let's name this as x so that x square is equals uh, 8.4 square plus 7.6 square minus 2 into 8.4 into 7.6 into cos cos what angle i should use i should use that opposite angle it is 62 so if i put the whole value in the calculator i'm getting the answer of 68.3778 actually whether i have finished or not or actually i didn't finish because just i got x x square i have got i didn't get x actually so if i have to find out x the square value will come here and it will make that right side value as a square root so when i'm finding the square root for this i'm getting that answer is 8.27 actually i'm getting 8.26909 when i'm rounding this answer to the three significant figure i'm getting that answer as 8.27 so you see here uh, in this question actually uh, all the three sides are involved along with the unknown the x is we have to find it and other two sides are there so we have it has framed a triangle so maybe you can take like that which means it satisfies all the three sides are given it say to satisfy the requirement of cosine rule and we are ensuring that that opposite angle is given so we are just writing the formula substituting the values and we will be getting the direct x square value if you take the square root of that answer will we get the what requirement is and we'll be getting mostly four marks for this sometimes yeah three marks also will be given but it is very easy actually you right just apply the values in the formula the thing is you should know that what formula you have to use either sine rule or cosine rule or area of triangle since you have to find the side it is either going to be the cosine rule or its side rule since area is not given and all the three sides are involved which means it is cosine rule right so yeah but if it's going to be the paper four question obviously it will take you like a structured one so in that maybe you have to use the exact value of the previous one you'll be getting the perfect answer in that so here actually we have found the side by using cosine rule and here actually we found the angle by using the cosine rule both are simple and maybe within two three steps we are getting the four marks yes so thanks for watching if you have any doubts you can comment you subscribe the channel and share with your friends and what is the next video that you want you can give it in the comment section thank you for watching